Hey, welcome back to Go with Tim. We're on day nine. So or things are getting more challenging. Yesterday was pretty intense. So in today's class, we're gonna make it a little more challenging. We'll keep advancing the movements, adding on movements, but also today, I wanted to take a moment to encourage you to think about your health and immunity. So this time of year, like we all start to get like, like it was gnarly, like everybody I knew had like, had, had the flu a week ago. And so we're gonna do some different po poses that help with your immune system. So yoga for immunity, but then also following along with what we've been doing. Okay, so let's begin in child's pose. So just take child's pose as your opportunity to drop into the practice, to shift gears. Take a inner survey, feel your body here with your eyes closed. Feel how the breath is moving in your body. Then come into downward facing dog. Take five breaths in down dog. Then walk your feet forward to the front of your mat. Put a little bend in your knees and let your head drop. Grab a hold of your elbows. Change the class for your elbows. And that bend in your knees, you're you can increase the bend in your knees to let the spine release. So less about how much your hamstrings are opening up now, just let the spine release. And we'll start to stretch the hamstrings more as we warm up. Then bring your hands onto your hips and come all the way up to stand. Stand with your arms at your side and stand tall up over your ankles. Feel your feet on the mat and let the feet open up, the toes, the soles of the feet. And as the feet open, grow down evenly through your heels, your toe mounds, all four corners of your feet. And feel as you grow the legs more evenly that the spine naturally grows taller because of physics. Because that's what, as you root down through your feet, there's an energetic response up your body. Just feel that. Then spread your arms out to the side. Rotate them externally. Spin the biceps back, triceps forward. And as you inhale, raise your arms all the way up. Exhale with a little bend in your knees, swan dive out. Lean with your chest. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, step your left leg back into a lunge and lower your back knee down. Let's warm up our hip flexors a little bit. Inhale, come up, raise your arms up, low lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, raise the left leg up from the inner thigh. Exhale, shift into plank and pull your knee up to your chest. Step your foot all the way up by your thumb. Lower your back knee. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Curl your back toes, lift your back knee, step forward and fold forward. Press into your feet and inhale, come all the way up to stand. Exhale, the hands to your heart. Inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step your left leg back, right leg back into a lunge and lower your knee down. Almost messed up. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg up from the inner thigh. Exhale, shift into plank, pull your knee up. 
step your foot all the way up by your thumb and lower your back knee. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Curl your back toes, lift back knee and step forward. Inhale, come all the way up, raise your arms. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back and lower to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Hold in your down dog and breathe. Bend knees and look forward. Jump or step up lightly. Inhale, arch. Exhale, fold. Press through your feet. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Samasthiti. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back and lower to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Now from down dog, shift forward to plank pose. Pull your right knee up to your chest and round out your back. Pull that knee up high. Inhale, slowly lower the knee, tap it down to the floor and reach your heart forward. Exhale, pull back up. Inhale, slowly lower. Exhale, pull back up. Inhale, slowly lower. Exhale, pull it back up and step your foot up by your thumb. Hug your right hip in, float your arms back behind you and hover there over your right knee. Wake up your back muscles, turn the triceps, turn the biceps out, triceps in towards each other. Feel the blades come on the back and lengthen from your tailbone all the way out through the crown of your head. Now keep that length, set your left fingertips down, turn your chest and take your right arm up. Before you go into the deepest twist you can, feel like you're lengthening out through the midline. Like I drew a line down the middle of your mat and your tailbone and the crown of your head are getting longer through that line. Tail one way, crown the other way. Then turn your rib cage more if you can. Bring your hand back down. Now set up your back heel for warrior one. Lift your belly and come up strong through the midline. Grow that back leg long through the reach of the foot, just like we practice in the mountain, stretching the legs through the feet, feel the spine get taller, then bring your hands back down to the mat. Step back into plank pose. Optional chaturanga push-up, or just hold here in plank, lower slowly and lift straight back up. Pull your left knee up to your chest and round your back. Inhale, slowly lower. Exhale, pull it back up. Inhale, slowly lower. Exhale, pull it back up. Last one, inhale, slowly lower. Exhale, pull it up. Step your foot up by your thumb. Then float your arms back behind you. Turn your inner arms to your outer arms. Neck long. Lean that chest out over your knee without hunching your upper back. I got a hunch that your upper back might want to hunch. Don't let it keep getting longer. <laughs> The corny jokes will keep flowing over the next 30 days. Don't worry yourself. Okay, then set your right fingertips down. Turn your chest. Good, but keep lengthening out through the midline. Get longer. And that's really good for your spine. If you can lengthen as you're twisting, oh. Good, then fingertips back down to the mat. Set up your back heel for warrior one. Once the back heel goes down, stretch your left sit bone straight back. Reach through your chest forward and then come up strong through the midline. Raise your arms.
Good, bring your hands back down to the mat. Step back to plank pose. Lower slow to chaturanga. And lift straight back up to plank. Downward facing dog. Look between your hands. Step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale into chair pose. Bend your knees, sit your hips back, raise your arms. Strong arms here as you hold. Inner ankles up. Let the hips drop back and down, back and down, back and down, but keep the height through your spine. Good, and then come all the way up to stand. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees, set your hips back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back, elongate. Step back and lower to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your right foot for warrior one. Inhale, come up. Good, now we're gonna pick up where we left off yesterday. Bring your hands to your hips. Straighten that right leg. Step your back foot a little bit closer. Then tip from your pelvis and start to fold forward out over your right leg. This time, go all the way out over the leg. Bring your hands to the mat. Now, if that's not possible for you, of course, use your blocks. Inhale, flat back, reach your chest forward, come up onto your fingertips. Exhale, fold deeper. Let the head drop. So as you're dropping out over the leg, like imagine I had ropes across your hips and I was pulling you up and back, and then let the whole back of the spine start to open up. Good, then inhale, come up onto your fingertips. Reach your heart forward. Now float your arms back behind you and lift your chest up to hip height. So this is a much more challenging variation to go this, this proceed this way into warrior three. Let me see, can you lean right into warrior three? Nice, good job. Keep your hips level. Reach to that back leg. Now adding on, Lower your left hand down onto the block, right in line with your big toe. Take your right arm up. Now let's check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. Put your right hand onto your hip. And as you reach straight back through your left heel, grow long out through that imaginary, imaginary line down the middle of your mat. Then start to spin your back ribs, but keep lengthening through that line. Okay, then take your right arm up. Good, fold forward, Uttanasana. Let your head drop. Pretty intense. Inhale, flat back, lengthen out. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, chair pose, bend knees, sit back, Utkatasana. Press up to stand, Samastiti. Inhale into chair pose, bend your knees, sit your hips back, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold forward, let all the air out. Inhale, flat back, lengthen your spine. Step back and lower, Chaturanga. Remember, you can practice knees down until you build that strength, or just hold in plank. Upward facing dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Step your left foot, warrior one. Inhale, come up. Then bring your hands to your hips. Straighten your left leg and step your back foot a little bit closer. Turn your shoulders back, inhale. Then start to tip from your pelvis, fold forward. Let the pelvis take you forward. Then put the hands down, head down. Inhale, lengthen, make a flat back, reach your chest forward up on your fingertips. Exhale, fold deeper, let your head drop. Then keep pulling those hips up and back off of your left ankle as you let the whole back of the spine lengthen and open.
Inhale, come back up on the fingertips, reach your heart forward, then float your arms back behind you and lift up high enough so you can feel that your spine is lengthened. Good, now lean your chest and step up into warrior three. Hold those hips level, you got it. Good, then slowly with control, lower your right hand to the block or the floor, a foot in front of your big toe. Left hand to your hip. Now get as long as you can. Long spine, long spine is a strong core. So lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Then start to turn those ribs while still lengthening straight ahead. Take your left arm up, complete it. Great job, bring your hand down, head down, leg down. Whew. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale into chair pose, bend your knees, sit your hips back, arms up. Good, then bring your hand, right hand to your outer hip. Sit back deeper into that chair. Still keep all that length. Then hook your left elbow to your right knee. Once you get the elbow to hook, unround where you're rounded in the spine, pull your chest up off your knees. Then join your palms together. And as you sit your hips straight back, keep lengthening out right in between your inner knees with your head. Fold forward, Uttanasana, hands down, head down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, chair pose, bend knee, sit back. Then bring left hand to left outer hip. Reach up past your pinky on your right arm, then hook your elbow to your knee. Inhale, lengthen out again. And then as you exhale, start to turn those ribs. Join your palms together. You'll notice that your buns want to twist off to the side. Keep reaching them straight back instead. <laughs> As those buns reach straight back, reach your heart forward. Good, then fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Step back to dog or take a vinyasa. All right, from down dog, bring your feet together and roll to the outside edge of your left foot, side plank, Vashastasana. So really important, like we learned early on in the challenge, when you're bearing your weight on your arms, you don't want your shoulders to roll in like this. It's a bad look, A, and it's really dangerous on your shoulder, B. So keep rolling your left inner shoulder, your outer shoulder, and if it's too much weight on your wrist or too much on your shoulder, just set your knee down. Good, stretch back to down dog. Bring your feet together and roll to the outside edge of your right foot. Take your left arm up. So rotate that right shoulder. And now make sure that you have a nice long line from your ankles to your hips, to your shoulders, to your ears. Let your head lean back into alignment with your spine. Down dog, stretch back. Good, from down dog, look in between your hands. Hop to seated, or however you can get to seated. Okay, let's practice core work from boat pose. So first sit in Dandasana with your legs stretched straight out in front of you. Hands next to your hips, pull your spine tall. Now lean your trunk back about 30 degrees. And then from your low abs, start to slide your heels towards you and bend your knees up. Good. Then from the grip of your low abs, bring one leg up into tabletop position. And from the grip of your low abs, bring the other leg up as, as well. Feel those low abs support you. Now see if you can take one arm forward without sinking back. Maybe both arms forward, low abs still. 
strong in the core. Three more breaths. Two, you're doing good, stay with it. One, good job. Then set your feet down, lie down onto your back. Now bring your legs up into tabletop position, both legs. Inhale your arms straight up to the ceiling. As you exhale, crunch up to your knees. Good, feel those abs engage tight, low abs and top abs. Send your right leg forward without your lower belly following, draw it back in. Then slowly change legs, bend the right knee and stretch the left leg. Lift that left leg up halfway, keep the belly in and stretch your right leg out to meet it and hold for five, four, abs tight, three, crunch, two, one, bend your knees, lower your head and stretch your arms up, inhale. We're doing one more round. Exhale, crunch up. Good, low abs in, send the left leg forward. Don't let the lower belly fall out. Change legs. Steady, raise that right leg halfway, then send the left leg out to meet it. And hold for five, four, crunch up. Come on, crunch up one more inch. Three, stay up, two, one. Bend your knees, lower your head. Okay, last round, arms up, inhale. Come on, stay with it, you got it. Exhale, crunch up to the outside of your right knee, hands up and over, and hold. Now send your left leg forward, but don't let that belly follow. Hold for five, four, three, you got it, two, one. Bend the knee, lower your head down, arms up, inhale. Exhale, crunch up to the outside of your left knee, palms together. Slowly send your right leg forward, don't let your belly fall out. Hold. Two, one, good, bend the knee, arms up, inhale. And release, lower yourself down. Great job. Okay, so we're gonna do this, one of my favorite twists. Take your feet the width of your mat, and this is like you know, a little hip opener, mellow twist. Just let the knees windshield wiper over to the left, and spread your arms out to the side. Then if you wanna intensify the stretch, you could cross your left ankle onto the outside of your right knee, or if you feel like a, a good stretch here, you could just hang out here. Breathe the lower back long, the hips out of the lower back evenly. Then bring the legs back to center and let them fall over to the other side. All right, so your gut is responsible for a lot of your immune response. A lot of your health comes from the health of your gut and your body's ability to eliminate properly when it needs to. So working your abs is great to help with that, to stimulate your gut. Bring your legs back to center. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of poses that are really good for your immune system. When we hold inversions, those are like one of the keys to promoting a healthy immune system according to uh, BKS Iyengar. So bring your feet so that they're hip distance apart and then lift your hips up. And for this one, you're gonna have your block right underneath your sacrum. So it's supported bridge, which I love. I love doing supported bridge. It feels so good. And so this is a very mellowed out version of uh, shoulder stand. Eventually, we'll be able to do a shoulder stand and hold that and that's like the ideal to be able to hold the shoulder stand for you know, a few minutes, a minute or so. But this is kind of a, a mellowed out version and you get a lot of the same benefits because all of your organs are being positioned up above your heart. So it gives, the heart gets to get some rest. It doesn't have to pump as, uh, it doesn't have to strain as much as it pumps in this position. So you'll notice that as you hang out here, things start to slow down, things start to calm, and you can just feel, feel that like really mellow feeling of inversion. It's like the introductory inversion that I teach to give people a feeling of what it's like to be inverted. All right, then we're gonna add on, we're gonna make the inversion a little bit more intense. You can get some more bang for your buck basically. You can hang out here or bring your right leg up into tabletop and then take your right leg straight up 
and then left leg up into tabletop, and then maybe straight up too. If it feels unsteady or doesn't feel right on your back, just bring your legs back down and hang out. But you can see that this is kind of like getting a little bit closer, almost to doing shoulder stand. Uh, this one's actually called V Prita Karani. And in the Hatha Yoga Pradipika, this is uh, one of like those 15 standardized poses that uh, probably are very important poses that we should be doing regularly if they're like the only, the small amount of poses that uh, were thought to be written down in that text at that time. That's probably pretty important for the yoga practice. So here's one of them. Gomukhasana is another and we'll do it tomorrow. Bend your right knee and set your right foot down. Bend your left knee, set your left foot down. And just feel how relaxed you feel after having done those inversions, like how calm down. So also when we're under stress, our immune system takes a beating. So if we can take time to unwind and relieve some of our stress and tension, anxiety, worry, that's also gonna help a healthy immune response. Lift your hips up and move the block to the side. Lower your hips back down. Good. Then let's take a little supine twist here. Gently hug your right knee into your chest as you stretch your left leg out along the floor. Open your right arm out to the side. Then hook your right big toe behind your left knee as you bring the leg over to the left. Does that make sense? <laughs> like you're just gonna put your big toe right here. Yeah, yeah. And then take it over. So all this does is, this is like a more mellowed out twist. Like you can do the one where you bring your knee all the way over to the floor, but this is just safer on lower backs. So this is the, this is like the um, preliminary version that I show for this pose. So I think this will be good for you. If you feel like you wanna go deeper, you can try to take the knee a little further, maybe all the way down to like block height or something one day. So just feel what is right for your body. Bring your leg back to center and change sides. Stretch that right leg, hook big toe behind, and take the leg over. Okay, cool. Jacob likes this one. He likes it better than the regular one. Just feels like more mellowed out, like you can get more space in your back. And especially at the end of class, like it's more like mellowed out stretching. It's what I like. Okay, come back to center. Hug both knees into your chest. And then set up for corpse pose. Stretch your legs out. Turn your palms up. Let your feet fall open. Let everything drop. Then gently bend your knees and roll over to your right side. Press yourself up to seated. Join your palms together and sit tall. Namaste. All right, thanks for staying dedicated to your practice. You're one of few that have actually stuck with the challenge. Great job, I'm so stoked that you stuck with it. Like this video, leave a comment below. Let me know how the challenge is going for you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. What the heck, have you not subscribed to the channel? What are you waiting for? Um, also this week on Instagram, I'm gonna be posting a lot of the um, things that I used to build my immune system. As a yoga teacher, I'm touching people all day, all across town, coming across so many people. And I use a few different things um, to help keep my immune system strong. So follow me, uh, Tim Sinesi Yoga, I think. That's my Instagram.